Atoms that are one or more electrons short of a stable electron arrangement in their outer energy level can also become stable by sharing electrons with other atoms in a process called covalent bonding. The most straightforward example of covalent bonding occurs when two hydrogen atoms join. Hydrogen atoms are one electron short of filling an outer energy level that holds two. When two hydrogen atoms share their electrons, both become more stable as a result. As the nuclei of two hydrogen atoms are identical, neither can completely capture the other's electron. As a result, the electrons spend part of their time in the outer energy level of each hydrogen atom. The result being that each hydrogen atom behaves as if it had two electrons in its outer energy level. The negatively charged area created by the overlapping energy levels attracts the positively charged nuclei of each hydrogen atom. Thus, the two atoms stay together, not because they are attracted to each other, but because the positively charged nuclei of each hydrogen atom is attracted to the area of negative charge created between them by the shared electrons. The bonds formed as a result of these attractions are called covalent bonds. The units of matter formed by atoms joined through covalent bonds are called molecules. Some of the atoms most common in biological molecules are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Atoms of all these elements are one or more electrons short of a stable outer energy level. They obtain stability by sharing one or more pairs of electrons with one or more other atoms. The number of covalent bonds the atoms of each of these elements can form is equivalent to the number of electrons they are short of for a stable outer energy level. A single covalent bond consists of one pair of shared electrons. Hydrogen atoms have only one electron and so can form only one covalent bond with another atom. Oxygen atoms, which are two electrons short of eight, can form two single covalent bonds with two other atoms or a double bond with one other atom. Nitrogen atoms, which are three electrons short, can form three single bonds, a double and a single bond, or one triple covalent bond. While atoms like these can join together in a variety of molecular combinations, none can provide the molecular skeleton required to create the huge, complex molecules essential to life. But fortunately for we living organisms, carbon atoms, which are four electrons short of eight in their outer energy level, can. The ability of carbon atoms to form up to four single covalent bonds means that they can create molecular chains that branch off into other chains and form three-dimensional biological molecules of almost infinite variety and complexity. Thus, carbon atoms form the molecular skeleton of all the large molecules found in living organisms. While these large carbon-based molecules are critical to life, so are other, much smaller molecules. Molecules of H2O.